So you know how many times people say things like, close your eyes, visualize with me. It's five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. What does your house look like? What does your car look like? You know, imagine having a house with a swimming pool and it's an infinity pool and you got the jacuzzi and inside your bedroom you have a gym and it's a four story, you got elevator, you got this view, you got, okay, that's great. But how about we do it a different way? Close your eyes, go 20 years from now and you don't do nothing. How many divorces you got? What happened to your family? How does your dad look at you in the face? How does your mom look at you in the face? How are your siblings looking at your face? How about the people that said you're gonna quit and they say, I told you so. Every single time you have to appease to their opinion becoming factual because you gave up on your dreams. That's the real exercise. And if you're okay with that, keep living life the way you're living. The worst thing in the world is when you see somebody that's amazing, like talented, skill set out of this world, and they don't have any passion. Life has robbed them. Right? They're a walking zombie. Right? They're just a shell. They get up, they go to work, they do what they do, they come back home, wake up the next day, repeat, do it all over again. When you think about the average life expectancy is 77. Average person retires around 67. So the average person works somewhere around 50 years to be free for 11. That's a raw deal. Our lives, what we create, are made from the decisions we make on the moment to moment basis. Champions who never open up are born into success. They're created, they're mature, they're struggled, and weathered through that effort of hard work and dedication and sacrifice to achieve that championship status. It's these moments, it's decisions we make on a daily basis. Do we get up early and go for a run? Do we hit the snooze button? Do we go that extra rep in the gym? And our body's dying, we push past that. All these little things are the inches that add up to be the measure of difference between first place and forever forgotten. If your day doesn't challenge you, don't ever expect to be changed by it. Champions aren't found on the podium with their hand up, no. Champions are found in lab studies, the thousands of hours of hard work when no one's watching. That's what makes your will unstoppable. When you're in here and no one else is, and you're pushing yourself harder than anybody with no one around. That right there, guys, is a spark that catches flames. Burns every fear down, guys. Some fear people use, and it, and it, and it enables them, fear does. You know, it's a block to them. They're scared from it, they run from it. Fear, you know, shuts them down. For others, fear's a motivation. I feel fear now, and I tackle it, so I never have to fear, feel it again. Most people are blinded by fear, mm -hmm. and to be successful at anything, you've got to be able to control that and work your way through it. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity, Qatar. But do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. Life begins now. The only thing in life that we don't have an abundant resources of is time. And this winter, I challenge you, don't let that time slip away. Use the time we have to make the most of it, because who knows how many more we have. The natural life expectancy could be whatever. But who knows, maybe some asshole, drunk driver, runs to a red light, hits you tomorrow. And that's all the time you got. You don't know that. What you do know, you got that right there in front of you choice from the novel. I want to get to the other end of this fucking world and however I'm being judged to look at me and say I did not fucking know I, I had you at 185 I had you at this but all this other shit I was riding as you were living it I want to I want to find more all I can and in that fucking sack of shit you have to dive in that 
to find more. Because if you're not willing to go in there and face yourself, you have to find anything. You're going to live right here on surface, man, right here on surface. So if there is an ending to this world, and there is somewhere to go, and there's a judgment, you're going to get there, you might see a chart. And that chart may tell you who the fuck you should have been. And now you get the rest of your life to think about that. And I can live a better life. Just would have just suffered. I just would have went in that shit and realized I had so much more. But fear, 40%, and living here versus living here, being afraid. Stop.